Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Itesh and below is my web homepage where you can access details about me and can leave your very valuable hello to me. Yes, I always read all of my emails and always try to reply them. So just drop me a hello. Apart from that, let us move ahead on this series. Now this particular video that is dumping everything via the SQL command prompt is not actually an injection technique. It's just to give you an in-depth knowledge what is happening behind the scene because many of you might be an SQL injector good in penetration testing but never have got a chance to open up the MySQL prompt as well. And I want everyone on the same ground so that we can get synchronized and can understand the SQL injection in a much better way. So in order to do that, let us first of all move to our command line interface on our backtrack where I've already given two command to start the Apache and MySQL. Now to move ahead in the SQL interface, we have to first give the username that is root and the password that is going to be toot. Okay, now I am in MySQL. Now the very first command is to show databases. So I have three databases, information underscore schema, MySQL and security. Let's use the security. <laughs> it gives me a symbol that says a sign that database has been changed. Now that's a pretty good thing. Now what you can do, you can give the commands like show tables and these are the some very common commands in it. And we have got emails. At any time you can get a description for let's say emails. And here is everything in the emails. You can also get the description for let's say users. That's a good thing as well. Now understand the SQL syntax that SQL injector, the best SQL injector is one who knows how to play with the MySQL or any kind of SQL query or language. Now when I type the command that is show databases, you might have noticed you have got one more thing that is information underscore schema. So for the time being, let's say we have created the security. Now from where this database is coming. Now this is really a good thing. Whenever you want to start anything like designing a website, use some inbuilt templates that gives you not to start everything from the scratch that you can play on everything on some build up ground. Now this is the same thing. Information underscore schema you can consider as an inbuilt database template on how to manage things and everything out there. So what you can do, you can also use the information underscore schema and you can also type show tables here and everything. So everything is mostly inbuilt out there in the information underscore schema and it's a good news that most of the databases in the MySQL which are above version 5 point something uh, have got inbuilt information underscore schema. Now what in ahead what we can learn from this command line interface is how to actually dump the table and column what we have done in the last video is we have tried to dump from the URL bar. Now how it is working at the back end actually that's also really important. Now in order to understand that we need to dump some of the tables and column name on the command line interface as well that will give us a more depth knowledge. So select table underscore name from information underscore schema dot tables we have to call the schema for tables where table underscore schema equals to in two single quote I have to give security now that's the complete syntax how we do that so we got emails users and everything now this is the very good and interesting thing that this command was meant actually to work on the MySQL command prompt and we were able to dump everything from the user interface that is your browser and that's the injection part. Also in case what we can do I can write select column underscore name from information underscore schema dot is this time I have to call the schema for columns where table underscore name equals and in two single quote I have to give let's say users. 
So ID, username, and password. Now you can dump out so many things, tables, values, columns, and everything from the command line interface. My goal behind this video was to give you a, some crisp knowledge about the MySQL interface. But what I realized so far that I should have typed these commands in some notepad somewhere so that we could have saved some time. Instead of focusing on writing, we could have saved some time on focusing what the command is actually doing. Although this was pretty much clear, we are selecting a column name from the information underscore schema and we are calling the schema for columns. And in that we are particularly filtering our query by using the keyword where and we are giving a table name that is users. And likewise the previous query was there. But really next time I'd be prepared with that and I will be writing each and everything on some notepad to just focus on not writing and explaining everything. So that's all for this video and we'll be bringing up a lot more challenges in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned and keep enjoying and thank you so much for watching.